What up, dumbasses? First retrospect on the Master Rain Channel 2019. Second video on the Master Rain Channel 2019. And third retrospect on the Master Rainy Channel. Let's get this shit started. The retrospect that I'm doing is on this video titled Rainy's Social Studies. This video was published on November 1st, 2009. I had fun talking about social studies in that video. It'll be a decade old in November this year. Looking back to the video now, I can see problems with it. George Washington is the first president. He was president 1789. He stopped... 1797. When George Washington was the president, he was so popular. He served for eight years as the commander-in-chief. After he was no longer the president, citizens were asking him to be president again. George Washington said, nope, I'm not serving a third term. Two's enough. He died on December 14th, 1799 at age 67. He wasn't a natural-born president. The first president who was a natural born citizen was the 8th president of the United States, specifically Martin Van Buren. Okay, so Abraham Lincoln was president 1863. Correction, Abe started his first term in 1861, two years earlier than I said. I didn't know where I got 1863 from. The answer will be out of nowhere. To add more detail, Lincoln was the third president to die while in office, after William Henry Harrison and Zach Taylor, but however, he was the first president in U.S. history to ever be assassinated. William Henry Harrison served as commander-in-chief for a month before he died of pneumonia. Zach Taylor served for a year, four months, and five days before he died of a stomach flu. Eight presidents in U.S. history died while in office. I'm sure there will eventually be a ninth president to die while in office. And okay, and so, and look, Stephen Grover Cleveland has been the president twice. I didn't give enough detail on Stephen Grover Cleveland's re-election back on November 1st, 2009. I can explain it to you now. In the 1884 presidential election, Stephen Grover Cleveland attained 219 electoral votes, while James G. Blaine only got 182. Cleveland served as Commander-in-Chief 22 for four years. There was already a 23rd president in 1889, and it's Benjamin Harrison. In the 1888 election, Stephen Grover Cleveland did win by popular vote, but that didn't make him president. Stephen Grover Cleveland was a Democrat. The Republican won the 1888 election despite losing by popular vote because he got 233 electoral votes while Cleveland only got 168. In the 1892 election, Cleveland attained 277 electoral votes, while the Republican Benjamin Harrison got 145, and populist James B. Weaver only got 22 votes. So Cleveland was commander-in-chief again after losing the previous election. So Cleveland served two non-consecutive terms. That's how he was 22nd and 24th. That explains how he was president twice. So think about it. You only get to be the next U.S. president if you attain the majority of electoral votes. And look, the United States of America, Kansas, Nebraska, our state, Ohio, and Colorado. That sounded like I said that I live in two states at the same time. Ohio and Colorado don't border each other. I should have known that. Look, Ohio's yellow. 
I don't find anything wrong with what color a U.S. state is. And look, Washington, the state, Washington, has George Washington's last name. Well, the flag has a state seal. The flag has George Washington's face on the image. It's the only U.S. flag with a U.S. president's face. The state was named for George Washington. According to the Oregon Treaty and the Oregon Boundary Dispute, Britain gave over the makeout for the Washington Territory in the western part of the U.S. Okay. United States of America. Texas has Austin side. Austin is the capital of Texas. It has almost one million people. New Mexico has Santa. It isn't just Santa. The capital of New Mexico is Santa Fe. Okay, done. I want to see the record play. That isn't called a record. I actually meant to say, I want to see you play that recorded video. I want to see a record play. Again, 2009 Rainy, it is not called a record. Well, I couldn't explain enough. I went through shit like yada yada on November 1st, 2009. I made some shit up. I called the video a record. Was I a dimwit or what? Well, at least I can explain more and I know how to make corrections. I've changed over the years. Adding more detail shows that I know something. Later, dumbasses. Stay tuned for the 17th video on the Master Rainy channel to be released sooner or later. I will see you when it gets released.